Well, more than one million people have died since 1999 from a drug overdose. That's according to the CDC. Since then, there's been a steady increase. In 2021, there were more than 106,000 drug overdose deaths. News 19's Crystal Flintrop shares how this increasing trend is affecting us locally. If they're overdosing and dying, we can't help them find a tomorrow. Americans have been battling drug addiction since before the first wave of the opioid crisis in the mid-90s. And healthcare professionals say people turn to drugs for many reasons, which unfortunately can result in an overdose. You don't see people trying to get addicted, um, but we see a lot of people who have mental health crisis, who are un, um, unmedicated, undermedicated, um, underserved, um, unable to access services that are needed to help with their mental health. And so a lot of the times we see people self-medicating. She says people had hoped that after the pandemic, the yearly overdose trend would start to decline. But the CDC has reported that this year has already seen an increase of nearly 1,000 overdose deaths compared to 2022. But La Crosse County has yet to pass last year's 38 overdose deaths. I'm not surprised that these numbers have not dramatically gone down. You know, when someone starts their addiction, the evolution of that ends up being usually about three to five years is what I've read before you actually see someone have a death from this. Sometimes obviously it's much sooner. La Crosse County overdose death toxicology reports show that a majority of cases involve fentanyl and most are mixed with stimulants like cocaine and meth. The drugs that are out there are so much more potent than what we've seen, but fentanyl seems to be the primary driver uh, locally and nationally. It's much easier to produce and to get into the country than uh, just because it's more potent. You need less volume for the same end result. Both healthcare professionals applaud the efforts done at the local level to provide resources to those living with addiction, but say there is more work to be done throughout the nation. We definitely need to combat our mental health crisis. So increasing access, I think, is huge. Um, increasing to ac access to behavioral health, um, medication-assisted, um, whatever is necessary for that. I think that is huge. She says helping people find a tomorrow starts with access to food, shelter, and stable jobs. In La Crosse, I'm Crystal Flintrop, News 19. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction or mental health, you can find resources by calling the Great Rivers 211 or those in a crisis can contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline by dialing 988.